Greetings, I'm Caffeine Rage, and I'm back with more of Ghostbusters. Last time we continued our night of the museum by trashing the place. Yeah. But it wasn't all my fault. Only mostly. <laughs> anyway, we're continuing on. There wasn't much story uh, progression last time. Unfortunately, so it's a little hard to recap. Oh. Watch yourself, would you? Hello. Oh, there's another cursed artifact. The Felician Plague Vase, or Vase, depending on your how holy toddy you want to pronounce that. <laughs> Circa 1700 BC. Worshippers of the Rosloth uh, surreptitiously placed these vessels among good shipments to their to their enemies. When activated, the vessels produced hordes of various plagues to overwhelm and terrorize enemies. The writing on this particular specimen translates as Sacred Rat Jar. Well, I know someone that wants a sacred rat jar. <laughs> That'll be a great Christmas present. And just so they don't think I took it. I love that the glass just continues to shatter for a while. <laughs> anyway, let's, there he is. let's oh. get him. Uh oh. Oh, this hall is doomed. Anybody? No, oh, don't worry, I got you. And I got you. On the right. And we got another toy. Wow, all sorts of cursed artifacts. But then again, it is a museum, so it makes sense that there'll be a lot of artifacts. Peter Ambrose Whiteman captured, oh, sorry, the painting of trustees. Oh, boy. Peter Amb a painter Ambrose Whiteman captured the city's most powerful cap uh, captains of industry in a moment of solemn reflection in a painting entitled The Chairman and the Board of Trustees. I mean to hit that. We're really going to have to invest in a larger firehouse at the end of this. Here they come. Behind you. Oh. And there's some more here. Come on, I think we're getting on it. <laughs> yeah, Vikman, your date's getting away. Get up. They're bringing some thunder on the right. Oh, I got the lightning. Got some good distance on that one. Hey guys, did you find Alyssa? Where did that ghost go? You didn't see him, but he just came through here. He must be headed back to the World of Gozer exhibit. That's our cue. Mm -hmm. Just make it sure. the words that rescuing hero wants to hear from his damsel in distress. May I say, your eyes are much prettier when they're not glowing like hot coals. Peter, I've made an extraordinarily frightening discovery. Why don't you all go away? 
All my data indicate that the ghost world is beginning to push through multiple cross portals from their dimension into ours. Well, more overtime. Guys, look! <laughs> That doesn't seem healthy. <laughs> we just got done rescuing her. She calls my name. Block the exits. Don't let it escape with her. Hit it with slime. <laughs> Winston, get the lady out of here before he hits on her again. <laughs> Into the big yellow eye. So is this just going to be a cutscene, or are we going to actually fight this guy? <laughs> Who would like to have that superpower? That doesn't seem very spoiling. So how are we gonna go after him? Care to tell me why my library, Whoa. museum, and parade are all going down the toilet? I keep telling you, sir, the Ghostbusters are nothing but scam artists determined to throw a negative light on you and the city and extort you for more money. Hello, Peck. I own that suit in blue. Both of you, pipe down. Mr. Mayor, an enormous event is on the horizon. Something at the museum exhibit triggered a systemized psychic occurrence. Some mechanism we don't know the nature of yet. No, of course you don't. But oh, shut up, Peck. Energy somewhere. Something that's now in the process of breaking down the walls between our world and another one. This other world is crossing through into ours. It started with simple ghosts and animated monsters. Now it's getting bigger. We don't know exactly what's next, but there's only room for one city here in this dimension. Two physical worlds can't exist in the same space. That's just elementary particle physics. We got a glimpse of the other world, Jock. It ain't pretty. It's like Brooklyn and the Bronx with no Queens in the middle. Whole city blocks sinking into a fifth dimensional abyss. Cockroaches the size of polo ponies. Panic in the streets. How'd you like disco to come back? Bigger than ever. Oh no, not disco. Trouble. So what am I supposed to do? We need to prepare the city for the world. The city's my responsibility, not yours. Now go do your job and stop that thing. You got a bite on your PKE. Scan around for something paranormal with your goggles. Not this giant thing. Really? That was it? Fancy. This way, gentlemen. Well, this looks inviting. I'll be at the office watching over Alyssa. Don't do anything fun without me. Good thing we're not sending Bankman to watch after her. Oh, uh, down we go. Winston just wants to go catch the Nick Nick's game, I guess. This way. Oh, lovely. Man, it's a plumber's nightmare. It probably goes without saying, but this is very strange. Well, that is your conversation starter. What's strange? This tunnel network, what could it possibly have been built for? I was thinking the same thing. Well, it could just be an old steam tunnel. No way, Peter. The design and valves don't fit for moving steam, water, gas, electric, oil, trains, not even slime. What about Morlocks? Morlocks would hate this kind of ornamentation. I don't recognize the alloy fabrication. Oh, see, I had to wait for him to do it. Whoa. Another frame drop. I wish I would have had a more elegant way of loading uh, chunks of the level. So it's not steam, not more locks, but there's plenty of ghosts. You're right about that. 
There's more consistent accelerated PKE blowing through here than I've ever seen. But this is not the origin point. This is just a conduit. Look at the trail! The chairman went that way. He's running down this tunnel. Well, there's something you don't see every day. And we have another artifact. Should be right on top of it. Really? Okay. Remote controlled Ecto-1, circa 1987. Created as part of the merchandising flood that followed the Ghostbusters' initial success, the remote controlled Ecto-1 was a favorite among fans. Judging from its occasional twitching and wheel spinning, this particular car seems to have been run in, have had a run-in with a low-level possessing sprite who has somehow, who has somewhere else to be. <laughs> okay. Now we're getting merchandising into the mix. The question is, where does it lead? Does it feel weird in here to you guys? Like familiar weird? Well, we knew which way to go for a while at least. There's got to be another way around this. The trail leads to the sealed door, then stops. Man, I do not want this jerkball to get away again. Well, that was a little harsh. What'd you have against that wall? <laughs> Thank you, Brinkman. The new cadet's all right. Well, so far, not too shabby. Egon, I think this is as good a time as any to install a new CPS. The Mizan new toys. is extremely precise and deals a lot of damage, but takes a while to recharge. The overload pulse disperses a rapid burst of Mizan particles. You can fire each of them independently. They both work great. But you can also use them in tandem. Paint a target using the Mizan Collider. After you've acquired the target, all expulsions from the overload pulse will home in on that target. Sweet. So, machine gun. And a uh, target painter, essentially. That means new upgrades as well. Add shot penetration. That sounds fun. I mean, it's really just a few upgrades left to buy, so may as well. Ready to fire increase, sure. Another rate of fire increase, sounds good. Oh, should have gotten the damage increase, so well. We are 5,000 away from that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This doesn't look very safe. <laughs> oh, wrong way. But this should be our last major upgrade. We're burning daylight, Pilgrim. Can we get out of here? Yeah, I mean, we're at four uh, things, so that should be it for uh, pack upgrades. Oh my, so much black slime. Oh, it just seems like a lot because it's alive. The column, it's flowing upwards. If you see a big yellow eye in there, poke it with something. No yellow eye, Ray. Maybe it already went up there. Well, that doesn't sound good. Is it my turn to lead? I don't want to jump in front. Hello, Chairman. Ready to get what's coming to you? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that doesn't look good. Kidnapping is a class one felony, and we do not tolerate it in our jurisdiction. Get him! It's gotta have a weak spot somewhere. Okay, let's just take care of this. I wish I would regenerate some health so uh, my screen wouldn't see, be so damn blurry. Not sure if this is the most effective way, but it seems like it's working. Yeah. Keep working. Residue is by far the least pleasant aspect connected to we still have a ways to go. Field of science. No, not Egon. Oh, I'm down. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Uh. To the right. Here they come. Scan it for the spirit guy. This is really useful. Okay, let's. Yeah. We already figured that one out. But may as well, right? Just give us a little bit of money. Man down, man down. Can't lose that mortgage. Yeah, this uh, fight has been a little underwhelming, actually. And close these again. Ah, oh, he got me. I'm on it. Ow. On your left. This guy gets rid of the damn gl hey, uh, blur. Uh, look behind you. I got you. Find some shelter, quick. Yes, we're gonna need another shower. Ah, oh, for the love of. And there's our another one. 
Oh. Our technology. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, going a little bit long, but. Well, I think it's a good thing. And come on, come on. Don't you want to just die, please? Unfortunately, I'm also going to have to go, well, actually quite a bit long in order to get the ending cutscenes into this. Considering it seems like it just starts me on the next level and not remember where I was. Turns out he wasn't much of a god. I should have shuttered you fraudulent gangsters forever when I had the chance. You know what? I'm going to put an end to this madness now. Right now. I'm shutting down your containment grid for good. You can kiss off a permanent license, not to mention any chance for more government contracts. You did this to me. And you're going to pay. You're welcome, you peck. All right, that's it. That's it. You're done, smart guys. You are done, smart, cool guys. I have the authority, and I'm shutting you and your phony containment grid down now. The whole city will have to pay because of your shenanigans. The whole city Can we just slap them and be done with it? Down too. Well, so be it. I have bigger fish to fry. And get him off me! I think we need to keep an eye on him. You think? No. I mean, we really need to keep an eye on him. Uh, it turns out Peck is possessed, isn't it? <laughs> uh, well, possessed by more than the stick I possess, at least. So we'll quickly go through the firehouse scene and then start the next level and wrap things up there. In theory. You're real heroes. Kind of routine. As usual, I led the charge. <laughs> We're fired heroes. Peck's gonna pull our license. Well, get real, Ray. It's the holidays. Nobody in this town's gonna be around to pull our license till Monday. We got the whole weekend to stop this calamity and probably half a dozen others. Save the city. We got a four-day weekend. We have time left for ourselves. Dr. Vinkman, if they start evacuating Manhattan, I won't be coming in on Monday. Catastrophic exodus of the city does not count as a floating holiday. I know. I looked it up. Okay, found Ray and Egon. Let's see what they're up to. Ray, Egon. I guess they're not upstairs. Well, at least it means I get to use this. <laughs> Okay, they're probably maintaining the containment grid. Oh, there they are. What does this symbol mean? Uh, guy. Perfect fit. It's not a constellation. It's a mandala. I can't what? believe I never saw it before. Okay, for one minute, pretend someone here doesn't know what a mandala is. Thank you. A mandala is like a spiritual labyrinth. And this one looks like a spiraling system that feeds into each successive node along the line until it reaches a culmination point. Before he died, Shandor must have set some mechanism in place similar to the antenna in Dana's building. You know, I think you helped to make that clearer. So this was the gizmo that's supposed to feed energy to the destructive form? That's... that's right, Peter! Wait, what? Well, Dr. Venkman. Well, I had to get one right eventually, didn't I? I mean, just math. All right, I'm just speculating, but it's possible that ghosts are trapped in the system, funneled from node to node, and they get stronger and stronger until they reach the end, and then they... Look, 
The first portal, the library. The second, the museum. And the third, the Sedgwick. And that means the fourth portal must be right here. The middle of the Hudson River? Well, according to the Mandala, yes. It may need a little tweaking. I don't know. Plenty of bodies in that river. Could become ghosts. But what does this have to do with me? What did I do? You were at the museum and the Sedgwick. Maybe you were some sort of catalyst, accidentally setting things in motion. You're saying this is my fault? Yep. You are blameless. What Egon meant to say was that you have some sort of connection to this thing, and we're going to go back to the Sedgwick and find out what. Isn't that right, Brainiac? That's right, Peter. Alyssa, do you remember where you were going when you were at the Sedgwick? I was standing outside a room, 1221. Something was compelling me to go in, but I woke up just before the door opened. I ran out of there as fast as I could. And then some jerk tried to pick me up on the elevator. Okay, you need to wow. stay here where it's safe. <laughs> you can't set off any more cross-dimensional shockwaves, hot stuff. Here, read up on the Mandela and the boys will check out the Sedgwick. The boys? And what about you, Superstar? I'm going to have you drop me off near Peck's office. Something tells me he's not quite what he seems. Good idea. Meet us at the hotel when you're done. Okay, let's get going uh, and get the initial cutscene going. We're using levels now. <laughs> Whoa, if this place were any more dead, we need a coroner. Egon used to be a licensed coroner. No kidding. It's just a hobby now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Close until further notice by the Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. Peacock. Entrance into this establishment is strictly forbidden and is punishable by fine and imprisonment. What now? Hmm. This notice is for the general public. It doesn't apply to us. We're bonded contractors for the city. Especially the Ghostbusters. <laughs> All right, heat him up. We'll melt our way in. Wait, I have a better idea. The door? Really? We're just going to use the door? That hardly seems right. So, oh. Back to the Sedgwick. <laughs> but that's going to be the next episode because I am running extremely long now. Oh. Come on. Load up. Hmm. This is disappointing. No. Disappointing is the Jets losing in the last two minutes. Not being covered in slime by phantom ghouls out to kill us doesn't exactly make me reach for Hank. Why they shut down? You guys didn't bang the place up that bad last time you were here. If yes, we did. This place is a Mandala note. A few burnt walls and broken ceilings are the last thing that anybody's. And smashed furniture, broken chandeliers, destroyed paintings, shattered bases, probably some minor structural damage. Thanks, Egon. My point being that there's more to worry about here than some minor cosmetic issues. Definitely a Mandala node. If we don't shut down Shandor's Mandala soon, most of Manhattan will become as vacant as this. Not to mention also becoming a bastion of absolute mind numbing horror for centuries to come. Hey. I definitely don't lay out two grand a month for a 600 square foot walk up to live in a bastion. Let's get to work. And we will wrap things up there as we go way, way over time. So, as always, feedback is appreciated. And subscribe if you wish to see more of this or my other series. Thank you for watching. And we'll be busting up the Sedgwick again next time. <laughs> Ugh.